I prediabetes, a health concern that is more than just a precursor to diabetes. It's a term that many of us have come across, but what does it actually mean? Prediabetes is a condition where blood sugar levels are higher than normal, but not high enough to be classified as full-blown diabetes. It's like a red flag, a warning sign that your body is having trouble with its sugar management system. Prediabetes isn't a rare occurrence either. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than one in three American adults have prediabetes, yet the majority are unaware of their condition. This is concerning because prediabetes doesn't just put you on the path to type 2 diabetes, it also increases your risk of heart disease and stroke. Now you might be wondering what causes prediabetes? Well, several factors come into play. Genetics, for one, can predispose you to prediabetes. However, lifestyle factors like lack of physical activity and being overweight significantly increase your risk. But here's where things get interesting. Prediabetes isn't a life sentence. It's a wake-up call, a chance for you to take action and reverse the course of your health. Yes, you heard that right. Prediabetes can be reversed. How, you ask? The answer lies in lifestyle changes. By adapting your diet, increasing physical activity, and maintaining a healthy weight, you can bring your blood sugar levels back to normal and keep diabetes at bay. It's not a quick fix, but a journey. A journey towards better health and a longer, happier life. But it's not all doom and gloom. Prediabetes can be reversed, and we're here to tell you how. So, stick around as we delve into the strategies and habits that can turn the tide against prediabetes. Because remember, your health is in your hands. And every step you take towards better health is a step in the right direction. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The food we eat plays a pivotal role in our health, especially when it comes to prediabetes. This statement rings true in countless scientific studies and real-life scenarios. Prediabetes, characterized by blood sugar levels that are higher than normal but not yet high enough to be classified as diabetes, is a health condition that can be effectively managed and even reversed with the right dietary changes. Think of it like this. What we consume, the fuel we provide to our bodies, directly impacts how our body functions. It's like a car. You can't expect it to run smoothly if you're putting in the wrong type of fuel, right? When it comes to pre-diabetes, the food we eat can either lead us down the path towards diabetes or guide us back to the road of health. Several scientific studies have validated the importance of dietary changes in managing pre-diabetes. For instance, a research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that adopting a diet rich in high fiber and low glycemic index foods can help manage blood sugar levels. This means that foods that are digested slowly, releasing glucose gradually into the bloodstream, can keep blood sugar levels steady and prevent spikes that could worsen pre-diabetes. Similarly, portion control is another key dietary strategy. By being mindful of the amount of food we consume, we can prevent overeating and manage our weight, two factors that are crucial in managing and reversing prediabetes. After all, being overweight is a risk factor for the development of type 2 diabetes. And let's not forget about hydration. Drinking plenty of water is essential for overall health, and it also helps regulate blood sugar levels. On the flip side, consuming excessive alcohol can lead to weight gain and higher blood sugar levels, so moderation is key. The role of diet in managing and reversing prediabetes cannot be overstated. But remember, it's not just about what you eat but also how much and when. Consulting a registered dietitian for personalized guidance can be incredibly beneficial. So what does a pre-diabetes-friendly diet look like? Let's delve into it. Scene script. Fiber. A nutrient that's about to become your best friend in your fight against pre-diabetes. Let's talk about fiber. This humble nutrient is a powerhouse when it comes to managing your blood sugar levels. You see, fiber slows down the absorption of sugars into your bloodstream. This slowing down process helps prevent sudden spikes in blood sugar levels, which is crucial in managing prediabetes. Now, where can we find fiber? It's abundant in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. These foods are not only rich in fiber, but also packed with essential vitamins and minerals. So, adding more of these to your plate is like hitting two birds with one stone. But wait, there's another important factor to consider when choosing what to eat. The glycemic index. The glycemic index, or GI, is a ranking system for carbohydrates based on how they affect blood glucose levels. Foods with a low GI release sugar into the bloodstream slowly, providing a steady source of energy and helping to keep blood sugar levels stable. Examples of low GI foods include most fruits and vegetables, legumes, whole grains, and some types of pasta. 
They're not just beneficial for those with prediabetes, but they're also great for overall health. Let's dive a bit deeper here. According to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, a diet rich in high-fiber, low-GI foods can improve blood glucose control and lower the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This is a big deal because prediabetes, if not managed, can progress to type 2 diabetes. Another study in the Journal of Nutrition found that a high intake of dietary fiber, particularly from cereals, was associated with a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. So that bowl of oatmeal in the morning, it's doing you more good than you might have thought. To sum up, fiber and low GI foods are vital in controlling your blood sugar levels and reducing the risk of progression from prediabetes to type 2 diabetes. They're like the dynamic duo in your dietary defense against this health challenge. So, the next time you're at the grocery store, remember to reach for those high fiber, low GI foods. Your body will thank you for it. Now that we know what to include, let's discuss what to monitor. Carbs aren't the enemy, but they do need to be watched. Now let's unravel the mystery surrounding carbohydrates often shortened to carbs and their influence on blood sugar levels. See, carbohydrates are a primary source of energy for our bodies. They're broken down into glucose, a form of sugar which enters our bloodstream and powers our cells. But here's the catch. The more carbs we consume, the higher our blood sugar levels spike. Now you might wonder, does this mean I should avoid carbs completely? Well, not quite. Our bodies need carbs to function optimally. The key lies in understanding that not all carbs are created equal. Let's take a quick dive into the world of carbs. They're generally categorized into two types, simple and complex. Simple carbs found in foods like white bread and sugary drinks are quickly digested and cause a rapid spike in blood sugar. Complex carbs, on the other hand, are found in whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. They're digested more slowly, leading to a gradual rise in blood sugar levels. So does this mean you should fill your plate with complex carbs and shun simple ones? Not entirely. Rather, it's about balance and portion control. Think of it as a teeter-totter. Too much of any one thing can throw you off balance. Likewise, consuming excessive amounts of carbs, even complex ones, can lead to high blood sugar levels. It's all about keeping an eye on the quantity and making smart choices. Research has shown that monitoring carb consumption can play a pivotal role in managing blood sugar levels. A study published in the journal Nutrition, Metabolism, and Cardiovascular Diseases found that participants who followed a low-carb diet saw a significant reduction in their blood sugar levels. But remember, it's not just about slashing carbs. It's about making smart swaps. Choose whole grains over refined ones, opt for natural sugars found in fruits over processed ones, and most importantly, be mindful of portion sizes. So to sum it up, carbs aren't the bad guys here. They're an essential part of our diet. It's the type and amount of carbs we consume that matter. Remember, moderation is key. Carbs are crucial, but there's another macronutrient that deserves our attention. Proteins, the building blocks of our body and a vital part of a pre-diabetes diet. You've probably heard that protein is essential for our bodies. It's the nutrient that repairs our cells, supports our immune system, and much more. But did you know that it's also a key player in managing blood sugar levels, especially for those with prediabetes? Lean proteins like chicken, turkey, fish, eggs, and tofu are a great source of nutrition without the extra fat and calories that can exacerbate prediabetes. They're also a fantastic way to keep hunger at bay and maintain steady energy levels throughout the day. Why, you ask? Well, it's all about digestion. When we consume proteins, our bodies break them down slowly. This gradual digestion process helps to maintain a steady release of glucose into the bloodstream rather than causing a sudden spike as some other foods can do. It's kind of like a relay race. Carbohydrates are like the sprinters. They get metabolized quickly and can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar. But proteins are more like the long distance runners. They take their time. And that's a good thing for keeping blood sugar levels steady. Several research studies back up these claims. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that a high-protein diet can improve glycemic control in people with type 2 diabetes. Another study in the Journal of Nutrition found that protein-rich foods help to improve satiety and body weight management. But don't just take our word for it. The American Diabetes Association also recommends including lean proteins in a pre-diabetes diet. So, how much protein should you be eating? Well, it varies from person to person, but a good rule of thumb is to aim for about a quarter of your plate to be lean protein. And remember, variety is key. Mix up your protein sources to ensure you're getting a range of nutrients. 
As always, it's a good idea to consult with a registered dietitian or a healthcare professional to get personalized guidance. They can help you figure out the right amount and types of protein that will work best for your specific needs. But remember, while diet is essential, it's not the only aspect we need to focus on. Balancing a healthy diet with regular physical activity and other lifestyle changes is the best way to manage prediabetes and steer your health back on track. Physical activity, a key player in reversing prediabetes. Let's dive into the role of physical activity in managing prediabetes. It's not about becoming a marathon runner overnight, but rather incorporating regular moderate exercise into your lifestyle. And here's why. Physical activity is like a secret weapon in the fight against prediabetes. It helps control weight, uses up glucose as energy, and makes cells more responsive to insulin. Think of it as a three-in-one deal. Now, scientists have been studying this for years, and the data is clear. Physical activity is crucial in managing blood sugar levels. In a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, it was found that people who engaged in regular physical activity had a 30% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. That's a significant reduction. And it's not just about hardcore gym sessions. Simple everyday activities can make a difference too. Walking, gardening, dancing, or even cleaning the house can count as moderate exercise. The key is to get moving and keep moving. The American Diabetes Association recommends at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise at least five days a week. Now you might be thinking, 30 minutes, that's a lot. But here's the good news. You can break it down into smaller chunks throughout the day. 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, it all adds up. Resistance training is another useful tool in your prediabetes management toolbox. Lifting weights or doing body weight exercises can improve insulin sensitivity and help build muscle, which in turn burns more calories even when you're at rest. A study in the Archives of Internal Medicine showed that resistance training combined with aerobic exercise was especially effective in improving glycemic control. But remember, before starting any new exercise regimen, it's important to consult with your healthcare provider. They can help you design a plan that's safe and effective for your unique needs and circumstances. So, let's recap. Physical activity helps control weight, uses glucose as energy, makes your cells more receptive to insulin, and can reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. It's a powerful tool that's available to all of us, and the benefits extend far beyond just blood sugar management. Physical activity and diet are crucial, but there's one more thing we can't ignore. A weight control and lifestyle changes, the final pieces of the pre-diabetes reversal puzzle. Let's talk about weight control. It's no secret that maintaining a healthy weight plays a crucial role in preventing and managing pre-diabetes. In fact, research shows that even a modest weight loss of 5 to 10% of your body weight can significantly lower your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Why is weight control so important? Well, excess weight, especially around the waist, increases the body's resistance to insulin, leading to higher blood sugar levels. So by losing weight, you can improve your body's ability to regulate blood sugar, which is key to reversing prediabetes. And it's not just about losing weight, but also about keeping it off. Maintaining a steady weight helps stabilize blood sugar levels in the long term. This is where lifestyle changes come into play. One such change involves alcohol. While moderate alcohol consumption can have some health benefits, excessive drinking can lead to weight gain and increase blood sugar levels. So it's best to limit your intake. Remember, moderation is key. Another essential lifestyle change is staying hydrated. Water plays a vital role in helping your body function properly. It aids digestion, supports nutrient absorption, and helps regulate blood sugar levels. Plus, staying hydrated can also help with weight control, as we often confuse thirst with hunger. So, make sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day. It's also worth noting that these lifestyle changes should not be viewed as quick fixes, but rather as long-term commitments to your health. The journey to reversing prediabetes is not a sprint, but a marathon. It requires patience, dedication, and a willingness to make changes that will benefit your health in the long run. In addition to these strategies, consulting a registered dietitian for personalized guidance can be incredibly beneficial. They can provide you with a tailored dietary plan that fits your lifestyle and helps you reach your health goals. With these strategies, reversing prediabetes is not just possible, but achievable. So, take control of your health, make these lifestyle changes, and embark on your journey towards a healthier life. Reversing prediabetes, a journey towards a healthier life.
we've journeyed together through the crucial points of managing prediabetes and I hope you found these insights valuable. Let's take a moment and recap what we've learned. We've discovered the importance of a balanced diet, rich in fiber and low glycemic index foods. We've understood the need to monitor our carbohydrate consumption and the power of lean proteins. Physical activity emerged as a key player, not only in managing blood sugar levels but also in maintaining overall health. We've also discussed the significance of weight control and other lifestyle changes. It's essential to remember that while these guidelines provide a broad framework, individual needs can vary significantly. This is where the role of a registered dietitian comes in. A dietitian can provide personalized guidance taking into account your unique health profile, dietary preferences, and lifestyle. They can help devise a plan that's not only effective in managing prediabetes, but also sustainable and enjoyable for you. Remember, prediabetes isn't a life sentence. It's a wake-up call, a golden opportunity to turn things around. It's your chance to reclaim your health, and every single change you make, no matter how small, brings you one step closer to your goal. So, start today. Make that first change. Take that first step, and then keep going. You're not alone on this journey. We're here with you every step of the way. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Remember, your health is in your hands, and every step towards a healthier lifestyle is a step in the right direction.